Sports for 42 years straight. Why it's the ultimate adventure gear. Through May 31st, get 0% for 72 months on Ford F-150. And if you've ever served in the military or are a first responder, get 1500 appreciation cash on these Ford trucks on top of all offers. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 11 o'clock. This is my son, Sergeant Jonathan Garcia. He had a smile that was so bright. Their loved ones made the ultimate sacrifice for us. This Memorial Day weekend, meet the Gold Star families gathering, grieving, and finding a way forward together. Plus, seven is on your side. It was just a matter of time before it fell. Tonight, D-Dot tells ABC7 why that tree marked for removal in March was still there, and the residents aren't buying it. And after a brief break in the humidity today, the moisture is going to be working back in, and that means storms may follow. I'll break down your holiday weekend forecast in just minutes. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. Thanks for joining us, and Memorial Day weekend is here. With it, thousands of people are visiting from out of town to pay their respects. And among them, 2,000 Gold Star families, families who have lost a loved one in war. Our Heather Graff shows us that they're here now to share their stories with each other, to grieve, and hopefully find a way forward together. They come here to pay tribute. It's something that you don't want to wish on anybody. And behind every face on this wall of honor, you'll find a story of sacrifice and loved ones who are hurting. So on January 8th in 2004, my brother and I were deployed to Iraq together and he was killed in action. He was flying in the back of a medevac helicopter when it was shot down and everybody on board was killed. A loss that for Ryan Weaver was just the beginning. My family became a two-time Gold Star family when my brother-in-law, Randy Billings, was killed in action in Afghanistan. But inside this Crystal City Hotel on this Memorial Day weekend, Ryan also knows he isn't alone. You see how much this matters to people. The Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, also known as TAPS, is an Arlington-based nonprofit that hosts more than 2,000 military families every year for this special holiday. This is my son, Sergeant Jonathan Garcia. Families. He had a smile that was so bright. Forever connected. I have shared sorrow. It gives me strength and courage to know that I have others here that are just like me. When you take a breath. And since Ryan has always found music to be therapeutic. So I'm a former Black Hawk helicopter pilot uh, turned country music artist. On Saturday night, he's lending his talents to the cause. This is a... Uh, <laughs> this is the first time that I'm going to have an opportunity to perform in front of a almost all Gold Star family audience. Paying tribute the best way he knows how. I think it's going to be a, a really powerful moment. On behalf of his brothers and heroes gone too soon. And what Memorial Day really is about. Heather Graff, ABC 7 News. And we thank all those families for sharing their stories with us and their sacrifices. The Trump administration now has notified Congress it does plan to send 1,500 additional troops to the Middle East amid renewed tensions with Iran. Now, this also comes as the White House uses an emergency legal loophole to push through the sale of $7 billion worth of weapons to Saudi Arabia without congressional approval, again citing Iranian threats. Well, ABC 7 on Stormwash tonight. Check this out. Meteorologist Nick Stewart from our station, our sister station, KGAN, tracked this monster tornado. Tornado. This is just outside of Iowa City a couple of hours ago. He said it was the loudest he had ever heard. Amazing. It's not a rain wrap tornado, so you can see it very clearly. That's condensation in the cone there. It's just uh, incredible, some of that video that they uh, captured there and how clear that tornado is uh, in this part of the country. And that's where more severe weather is breaking out. It has been absolutely astounding day in, day out where this line of severe weather is. It goes from Iowa all the way down again through Kansas, Oklahoma, and to parts of Texas. That is our severe weather threat tonight. A couple of enhanced risk areas, meaning that numerous severe storms are possible, and that's up into Iowa, parts of Illinois, and again down around Oklahoma. And once more tomorrow, another severe weather day for Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas around the Panhandle region, the same places we had all those tornadoes earlier this week. Now for us tomorrow, I think we may see a few thunderstorms around the area, especially off to the west. We're going to be talking about that coming up and specifically the threats that are going to be associated with.